Good day learners and in this video we're gonna talk about drawing conclusions from statistical data using the measures of sensual tendency. Let's have our first problem. It's about quiz scores. A class of 10 students took a math quiz and their scores were 7, 8, 10, 5, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 10. The mean for this data set is 7.8. The median is 8 and the mode is also 8. So if you're not yet familiar with how to compute for the mean, the median, and the mode of a data set, don't worry. I already made a separate video that explains each one step by step. You'll find a link to that lesson in the description below. But for this lesson, we will proceed with our discussion. So we've already stated that for this data set, the mean is 7.8, the median is 8, and the mode is also 8. So, what conclusions can we draw or, or can we make from this data set given these measurements? So, we can say that the average score of the students is 7.8 and the middle score or the median is 8. And the most common score or mode is also 8. We can also say that this shows that many students scored around 8 and that the scores are close to each other, which means the class had a consistent performance. Let's have another problem, and this time it's about monthly sales. The monthly sales in 1,000 pesos of a store over 6 months are 50,000, 55,000, 53,000, 58,000, 55,000, and 57,000. The mean for this data set is 54.67. The median is 55 and the mode is also 55 so based on these measures what conclusion can we draw about the monthly sales of a store so we can say that the average monthly sales or the mean is 54.67 thousand pesos we can also say that the middle value or the median is 55,000 pesos and the most frequent sales value or the mode is 55,000 pesos. Furthermore, this shows that the sales were mostly around 55,000 pesos each month and that the sales data is consistent with 55,000 thousand appearing most often let's have another problem this time it's about weights or puppy weights so the weights in kilogram of five puppies are three kilograms five kilograms four kilograms six kilograms and five kilograms the mean for the five puppies is 4.6 kilogram. The median is 5 kilogram. And the mode is also 5 kilogram. So based on these measures, what conclusion can we draw about the or about this data set so we can say that the 
average weight or the mean of the puppies is 4.6 kilograms. We can also say that the middle weight or the median is 5 kilograms and the most common weight or the mode is also 5 kilograms. Moreover, this shows that most of the puppies have a weight close to 5 kilograms and that the weights are fairly consistent with 5 kilograms being the most frequent. Let's proceed to problem number 4. And this will be our last example for this video. So problem number 4 is about temperature data. So the problem says that the daily temperature in degree Celsius recorded for a week is 30 degree Celsius, 32 degree Celsius, 29 degree Celsius, 31 degree Celsius, 30 degree Celsius, 29 degree Celsius, and 32 degree Celsius. Now the mean for this data set is 30.43 degree Celsius. The median is 30 degree Celsius. And the mode, actually we have three modes and these are 29 degree Celsius, 30 degree Celsius, and 32 degree Celsius. Now based on these measures that we've computed, what conclusion can we draw from this data set? So first we can say that the average temperature or the mean is 30.43 degrees Celsius. Another thing is that the middle temperature or the median is 30 degrees Celsius. And another, another thing is that the temperatures that occur the most often or the mode are 29 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius, and 32 degrees Celsius. So what else can we say about the data set? This shows that the temperature varied around 30 degrees Celsius with 29, 30, and 32 degrees Celsius being the most frequent temperature during the week. What else? We can also say that the data set is multimodal, meaning there are multiple tem temperatures that occurred most often. Okay, so that's it for our examples for these video lessons. Now for your activity or exercises, we have here three items for you to work on. So feel free to go back to the video and review the video so that you will have a good idea on how to answer this activity. So guys, if you think that this video has helped you, please um, subscribe and like and share this video so that we will be able to reach as many learners as possible and also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever we will upload a new video in our channel so thank you for watching and see you again on our next video